Alright you guys, got a little update here. It's December 30th, uh, 2017. I picked these two up recently. This is a 36 inch Suburban blower. It's missing the control rods, but I'm either going to make some or the guy that I got this from has the rods on his plow. So I might make rods for his plow so I can get the original rods. I don't know yet. Uh, it's a 48 inch deck that's pretty cobbled together, but it will at least be good for parts if I can't get it functional. But we will see. Here's the old ram. And I got some new stuff in the back. Uh, I went to Buddy's place yesterday and traded my ST16 with the 18 horse Onan for what you see in the back of my truck. Uh, I got a got the engine from his Sears Custom. Get the snow off of it so you guys can see. But it's complete. It just does not have the air filter on it. He um, said that the engine runs. It just it needs carb work. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. I'll probably keep that as a spare engine. Uh, I have a, the deck for a custom. It's in pretty good shape. He said the deck is quiet. So we will see. And what we have here is a rather cobbled together 68 Sears Suburban 12. Um, it's kind of interesting, I was sharing with a couple of people on Facebook yesterday, the tire and wheel combination on this thing in the front. So you can see it's multi-ribs, and the spindles on the next, if I brush the snow off, you can see that the spindles are white. And it has the deep dust caps like 1969, so uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly when it was made. The serial number, which the camera will not focus in on because it's kind of a crappy camera I have, but it's 15,967, so it's a 5-digit serial number. It was repainted. Um, it almost looks like brown house paint. Uh, but the original orange is actually not in bad shape, so we'll see if, I mean, like, there's more of the original paint right there. So I'll see what, what I can do with it. Um, let's turn the snow off. For those that are wondering, yeah, that's a trophy, or top of a trophy, it's a hood ornament. Um, it does have a winch on the front, but it's missing the uh, crank, so I'll, I'll probably make a crank or something like that for it. That's the battery tray in the front. Probably won't keep in all, either of the stuff in the front. I'll probably be taking it off. Because it would be kind of cool to run a mower deck on this thing, if possible. Um, it does have a headlight just sticking out here, and the other one's busted off. But there's a halogen light there. Um, well, it's cold out here. My hands are already turning colors. It's like four degrees out. But this hood has been cut on this side a little bit and severely cut on this side for the engine. What we have in here is a 10 horse all power diesel. Um, it was not all that bad. Um, the way it was put in, but I'm gonna put a make a battery tray and put a battery tray in there so I can put the battery underneath the hood, build some uh, like heat shields and stuff. I am gonna change the exhaust a little bit, if not move this like cut some some of the, some sections out and move it forwards, or just um, make a new flange that comes straight out and just have the exhaust up here farther. Um, but it'll come down and out, so that way I will not have to cut the hood because I'm might change the hood. I'm definitely going to change the intake and move the intake back here, like right around in here, somewhere like that. Um, overall, the tractor's not in bad shape. Uh, I was talking to the guy that built this tractor, and he said that the steering shaft is out of a Sears LT 1036. So, if any of you have a spare steering shaft for a Suburban with this style dash, 
I'd really be interested in the steering shaft and the steering wheel. Because I don't particularly care for the steering wheel. And if you really want the steering wheel, I'm more than happy to ship this thing to you on trade if you want. Um, I'm just missing shifter knobs, so I'll come up with something. I do need to make a bracket because the high low range lever is just flopping around in there. But I mean, the throttle isn't stuck. Obviously, I'm in there. This tractor was definitely thought out when it was built. But, oh, here we go. Get us out of the engine for you. So, yeah. This is the new toy, so leave you guys with that, and see you in the next one.